Happy Monday, everybody. For me, it's a little bit of a no makeup Monday. It's a thing, or maybe it's not a thing. Maybe we should start it being a thing. Just easing into the week, enjoying my work day. Thought I'd stop and grab a sip from our advent calendar. Let's see what we're up to on number 18. All right, green tea with apple. Always a crowd pleaser. And on the side, it says work on you, for you. Good advice, let's brew it up. Mm. Hot tea, coffee, always at the spot, especially when it's a little bit cooler outside today. All right, for today's sip, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hone in on this one a little bit. The work on you, for you, it kind of struck a chord with me. I've met people who think they've learned all they can. They've reached the pinnacle. They are done, and I just think, wow, your ego has got to be so huge that you think you have all the answers. Whenever I go to a John Maxwell event, what strikes me when he's speaking, and he's well into his late 70s, maybe even early 80s at this point, I'm not sure, is that he keeps saying, I keep growing, I keep learning, I keep trying new things, I keep experimenting, and that is what growth is about. I believe that if you're breathing, you should be learning. If you're the same person you were a year ago, and if you're the same person a year from now, that's not growth. And you can't be a leader without constantly learning and growing and asking questions and wondering why. That should be a goal of any leader because then they pay it forward and then they're an example to others. And no, it's not the responsibility of your boss or the people you work with or anybody who's in a higher position of authority. Like, well, they need to send me here. They need to do this. It's like, no, that's that's something you need to take take the step to do. If you want to grow and you want to make yourself better, then work on you for you. And then you'll create a ripple effect for others. Leaderships. 